What's up, everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. We've got Shine here going up against Sock in the bottom right hand corner. And guys, I did skip an upload yesterday. I know you were probably surprised if you're someone who follows this series on a daily basis that we didn't have an upload lately. No, you didn't miss anything. We were just feeling really bad after yesterday's stream. I uh, streamed for like seven hours or seven and a half hours, something like that. And things really didn't get off to a good start and it just kept getting worse and worse. And I always say it that uh, any stream that's long enough is going to be a bad stream. Or if you stream long enough, it will become a bad stream. So. You know, we kept streaming and kept streaming. We kept playing. We took a little break, played some Room World, but things just kept getting worse and worse. And after the stream, I was just feeling so terrible. I uh, I didn't even want to look at the game, honestly. I guess that's pretty much my fault. It is what it is. It's just uh, affecting me more than I thought that it would. The difficulty of streaming this game is uh, it's overlooked. You gotta respect people like Artosis for streaming for as long as he has and for as consistently as he has. And, you know, you work to improve even though things are going so badly. Really impressed, actually, that he's able to keep going. But we felt so bad we just decided to take a day off. That's it. That's it. We came back today. We played Brood War again. We spent a lot more time practicing builds rather than actually just hitting the ladder hard. And uh, we had a better day. So we are going to be doing a series here today to kind of make up for the missed upload yesterday. So I hope you guys are strapped in. I hope you're ready. We're going to be watching some TVZ. It's Shine versus Sock. And we've already started off with a pretty normal looking build here. Sock. Gonna go ahead and get that wall in at the front. He's not doing anything really greedy. He but built two uh, supply depots before going for the CC. And a lot of players, they will just be very greedy and, you know, skip the supply depot. Uh, build a marine uh, a little bit later. Not really have anything in the early game. And you can harass that with the uh, drone if you choose, but... Shine didn't actually send out an early drone here and said he's just going to be dealing with this uh, one single marine that's walked all the way across. Uh, it's just a couple of lings that are about to pop out here. And there they are. Actually built uh, four lings, two sets, to deal with this. But it's not totally necessary. Even just two lings would have been fine here. But just being on the safe side, not going to uh, cut any corners here. And he sees that there are... Marines being incremented out, and he's probably expecting a two barracks push, but is that what we're going to see from Sock? It's like a armory? Factory. Oh, boy. I just revealed everything. Oh, my goodness. Press the wrong button there. Hopefully that uh, game timer doesn't spoil things too much, or maybe I'll cover it up in the post. I was just trying to uh, to bring this up. And it is indeed a factory. So this is this is interesting. We're not really sure what this is going to be, but I believe this is going to turn into a, a Valkyrie timing here. Should be going into a Valkyrie. And Spire is on the way here. We've seen, I think, enough to, from uh, Sock's side to kind of know that it's probably going to be Mita's. I don't think we saw the Spire actually get thrown down or anything, but I think he's pretty well in the know here at this point. There it is, straight on into a Starport with the Floating Factory, so indeed it is going to be that Valkyrie play. And very, very fast Valkyrie is something that's a little bit hard to deal with in the current meta. You're going to pop out a lot of mutas here. The whole point of... Oh, we're not actually doing 2.5 hatch. I thought we were going to do 2.5, but he's throwing down a hatch over here. He's grabbing that third base. So the problem is we're going to pop out a bunch of mutas, and they're not going to do 
basically anything the time by the time they arrive there's going to be a couple of turrets and by the time the number is high enough to start challenging turrets and picking off SCVs, there's going to be a Valkyrie there to defend. Now, we did get a scan here. Let's see what we saw. Got a view of the Spire here. Saw that there was an, uh, some eggs being morphed as well. So he's pretty well certain now that he knows what he's up against. And there's the Valkyrie beginning here. Right around six minutes is when the Mutalis will arrive at the natural. So turrets are going to start here a little bit slow, honestly. A little bit slow on the turrets. We'll see if he can uh, get these up. The Mutalis are going to arrive right now. Start to hit one of these SCVs. SCV getting a little damage here, but there's only four Mutas so far. He needs seven to one shot, so pretty far off from that number. He can two shot, but he's not going to be able to get that. And there's the turrets. They are done. And right now, here's where the Valkyrie pops out. So the next dive in, right as he has that number, he's got the seven for the for the Mutas to dive. The Valkyrie is going to be there, and that's going to force this out. So he comes in, he's doing the dive, getting a couple of kills. That's three, and there it is. There's the Valkyrie. He has to run now. He's going to try and get a couple more hits off there. Does a pretty decent job, honestly. That wasn't too bad. Shine, no, though, now I think he throws down immediate Hydra stand, and yeah, he does. So this is the problem with the Valkyrie plays. You have to get your tech out as soon as humanly possible because the Mutas are not going to save you in this game. Scanning here. Sees the natural does not have sunken colonies yet, but they're on the way. Third base should be getting a sunken as well here pretty soon. And we should be going into a science facility here pretty quick as well. Um, don't want to stick on this for too long because once the transition is there, the Valkyries do become pretty darn useless. So we are going to get this Hive any second. Hive a little slow. There we go. Hive on the way. Hydras. Hydras should be morphing out at about half way done Lurker Aspect. Lurker Aspect just about there. So Hydras should start. And it's very nice to to do a dive into the main when the Marine and Valkyrie start to move out. But this is not that time. We're going to take a lot of damage here. All three of those, uh, oof. All three of those Valkyries getting a good size volley off. And you can see just how damaged these are now. Taking a lot of that damage. Well, I wanted to get the zoom in there. But there we go. Going after a Medic right now. Going after the Medics is not typically... Um, the preferred thing to go after but in this case I think it's actually a pretty decent idea if we can pick off a medic or two it's gonna make it very very difficult for the Marines to break through any number of sunkens we only get two sunkens right now so we don't actually have enough to hold this off two only two medics though oh this is too late this is way too late the sunkens not done oh that's really a shame losing the uh, scourge here and the Sunken's not done. There it is. Sunken gonna finish, but way too late. Uh, does Sock just get the kill here? Man, that really does suck. Shine. Being too greedy, maybe? Not building Sunken's on this high ground? That's kind of crazy to me. That you wouldn't build the Sunken's here. Just two Sunken's would have saved him. Two Sunken's on high ground with only two Medics? I don't think he can break through that. And he loses his third. We're gonna dive in over on the other side of the map. Try to deal some damage, but... There's the Valkyries. He's going to have to go after that one, try to kill it. But look at how low these are getting. Crazy, crazy low HP. And there's the Valkyries clearing out all the remaining mutas. Really, really rough here. Valkyries turning around this as soon as they see the Scourge. That was really the last hope here for Shine was that maybe he could get Scourge over here. Dive in and then catch the Valkyries as they were heading home. But... Sock a little bit too quick, man. He's already on top of it. He brings the Valkyries back too fast. Gets on top of the Mutas and picks them all off. That is just about game here. A dropship going to head out as well. And I can tell you, from this position, things are really, really dire for the Zerg. There's almost no way to hold on to any of your stuff. Looks like he's going to maybe pick off all of the Scourge. Wow, he gets all the Scourge. That's nice. Flying right over top of this uh, Lurker here, though. That's a little bit rough. Maybe he can uh, catch that with the 
Uh, Scourge, maybe we can catch this drop. Nah, he's just gonna unload on the other side there, and at the same time, hitting this third base, so that's gonna go down. Dude, things just suck right now. Life sucks for Shine at this point. He is in such a rough position. It's all due to that not building two sunkins here, man. I, I don't know what else to say. You can't block the ramp with a, a single lurker egg. It's just not gonna happen. He's even gonna, oh man. This is nasty. He's gonna kill the extractor here. That's so rough. Bro. What are you supposed to do as Shine right now? I think you, you have to leave the game. There's no other choice. He can't build anything. He literally, legitimately can't build anything. What is this man doing? All right, we're gonna we're gonna speed ahead in this one. Wow, he stays in this a lot longer. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me! Two times speed, please. As we go forward here, what is he even gonna do? He does. He's on one gas. Guys, he's on one gas. It's so bad. Building wings. What on earth are we gonna do here? I'll turn down the speed a little bit. Back to normal speed here. Okay, high speed. Never mind. Let's see. Let's keep going. Let's keep this rolling. All right, we're gonna bring up the tanks now. I mean, Sock is has got to be like, dude, come on, leave this game. What are you doing? We're waiting for a consume. We're gonna get Hydra upgrades. Ugh. Yeah, there's just no way. There's just no way. We got tanks. We've got vessels. Irradiates are gonna start coming out. As soon as the first irradiate comes down, like, what are you gonna do? You're so screwed at this point. Drop a dark storm here? No. Doesn't have one. Still poking in the back as well. There's a big plague anyway. Looks like he went for plague first. Did you get plague first? We got a big plague on this. I mean, that's not too bad. Um. All right, I guess I'll slow it down again. We're gonna get a plague here at the front. So Shine thinks maybe he can do something here. I really don't think it's possible, but he is gonna come out. I'm gonna run underneath the Dark Storm here with the Marines, kind of funny. Do have quite a few vessels here. No uh, consume just yet. Sock already has his third base and an extra factory. I'm gonna throw down a couple of factories at this point. Might as well. I'm gonna run up on top of these. Some irradiates gonna come down here. All of the gas units gonna be mopped up by those irradiates. But maybe Hydra's gonna go around the side here. Maybe we can grab a third base. It's very, very tough, but... Oh, go for a big plague. Go for the big plague. The biggest plague you've ever seen in your life is what Shine needs right now. I don't think that was it. But, um... Maybe it's gonna help out a little bit. All right, we're we're uh, we're cleaning up some of these uh, yellow marines here. Hydra's gonna make their way forward. They do very, very well against the uh, vessels, but what we really need is a plague on these vessels. If we could get a plague on all the vessels and kill them all off, things might change around here a little bit. It might get a, a little bit easier for Shine. He's doing a great job of targeting stuff. Well, that kind of shut that down. Right as I say that, he goes to target the uh, tank there and it gets a D matrix. Marines do fight very well against Hydras, so uh, without the plague, I don't think that's gonna be a great option. Start to irradiate the Hydras and this is what starts to feel really bad, guys. When the Terran has so much energy and uh, time on their hands to just start using uh, irradiate on Hydras, that's when you know things have gone really, really south. Now. He's gonna come out here. Should get a big juicy plague on this. Okay, not too bad. All the tanks and the uh, vessel as well. You get plagued there. Um, try to push out here. We can't afford energy. The energy upgrade. He's gonna be able to throw down a dark swarm. Not too bad. Target down the tanks here. Pretty quick. Pretty short order. Oh, he tried to. I think he tried to uh, consume. Gonna try and consume again. Can't get the consume because everything is dying. Unfortunate stuff there for Shine. He cannot get a big plague here that he would like to get on these vessels. And he's going to start to really dry up now. We've got uh, Sock now on a fourth base. Still pumping out a lot of bio units. 
Shine could have left this game at any time. Still choosing to be here. Still choosing to uh, to hang in for now. Go ahead and throw down another plague. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Dark Swarm here as well. One lurker underneath that, but um, the other has been unfortunately irradiated, so he won't be able to do much. We have the third gas online. We are going to get Metasynaptic Node. That's a little bit surprising. Thought we weren't going to go for that. Ooh, Plague on all of these vessels. So three vessels are very badly hurt right now. Unfortunately, an army going to come over this side. We've got one Lurker to deal with that. Not too bad. Going to get rid of a lot of this without too much trouble. Tanks, though, are the real problem right now. These tanks are crushing it. I'm going to make two Lurker eggs out of these... Uh, radiated hydra so getting some value there but it's it's this is the serious problem he's got to get over here and break this this uh, army right now he's gonna throw down a dark swarm pretty well done but targeting down the defiler oh man he loses the defiler it's so rough right now guys uh that 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 is just not it that's not what we needed oh a drop into the main as well at the same time this is gonna really throw a wrench into the plans for shine right now the double drop here crushing it right now can't target down the vessels either he's gonna go for the hydra den and possibly the defiler mound as well those are the true important buildings at the moment gonna come forward here is he gonna get the upgrade finish looks like he will finish the upgrade but these fire bats holding their own man holy I'm gonna crush that and there goes the defiler mound even though we got the upgrade i don't see how that's gonna matter too much the upgrade is uh, the least of the worries right now. The little filer coming out, pulling down another plague, but there it is. GG is called. Shine finally taps out. Dude, Shine, why did you have to stay in for like an extra eight minutes, man? That is uh, <laughs> a little bit unnecessary, my dude, but we have several more games here, guys. This is a nice long series, so I won't with uh, delay any further. Let's jump right into game number two. Okay, game number two here. Shine in the bottom right. Sock in the bottom left. The NZU. TTT. Not sure what that's all about, but whenever I see NZU, I immediately think Sock. I know that there's other members of that clan, but to me, Sock is the guy who's always repped the clan tag the most. A very awesome player. Proving to be quite the handful for Shine to uh, to take care of right now. Can't really uh, can't really put his finger on him yet. We'll see if he's able to pin down this Terran player in this next game. It is on Radeon. We're gonna get the first Overlord to scout immediately, and this is the nice part about this map is you can do that nice quick scout over to the natural. And if you're not too greedy with the scout, you could even hide the fact that you're in the bottom right by just staying over top of the natural, by just parking over top of this high ground area. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys. If you park right over here, there is a position where you will not be seen if a SUV comes out. So SUV could still slide by on the side here, but if they come out through just like a regular right click out onto the map, they probably won't uh, pick up on your overlord and they might scout you last. So that's something to consider. Gas immediately here from Sock. Interesting. Gonna be mixing it up here. I personally don't like any Terran players mixing up against Shine. I feel like just play basic macro against this man and you should have an advantage he's not that strong macro like just ba ba basic macro zerg play i don't think is the greatest i think he's strong but he's not that strong you know if, if you guys catch my drift like he's not a soul key level or something like that he's like he's much better in the scrappy situations is what i'm trying to say if you put him into a weird situation like this Oh, he's going to spot him, but the Marine's almost out. Can he make it back to the high ground? He might lose his first Overlord. Man, this is a risky move to send your Overlord like this. 
But uh, maybe he makes it back. Oh, gosh. That is quite scary. But he did get to see the factory being built. So that's a big scout. Means he's, he needs to drop this... Um, he needs to put Sunken Colony here right now. Oh, no. He's got about 15 seconds left, actually. Like, 320 is when you want to put it down. This is not that far at rush distance. And you, don't, you also don't want to get blocked here. If you end up getting blocked by this SCV... This could be really devastating. So right now, actually, we need this sunken. Probably this one right here. Oh, boy. Shine, are you, are you kidding me right now? Surely not, Shine. Surely not. Surely not, Shine. Okay, I think it's going to be okay. I like to throw it down around 320. I think 330 is like the latest you ever want to throw it down with the factories in the main. But he's throwing it down like 333, 334. Being really, really close. <laughs> really, really um, close here. The Vulture is going to take the long way around. And the Sunken did finish up in time. So maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe 335 is fine. I always just put it down a little bit earlier. Because, man, it does suck to get the Vulture in your main. The Vulture getting by you, even getting into your natural and just sitting back here is a nightmare. You lose so much mining time. It's crazy. But this is pretty typical, actually, from Shine. He's going to go for Ling Speed and try to surround. He didn't do a great job of sending out the Lings, though. They were kind of haphazard. Usually when I see Shine do something like this... Oh, is he going to get it? No. Usually when I see Shine do something like this, uh, go for the, the Ling Speed and a whole bunch of Lings, he usually... Brings them all together and then runs out and tries to surround immediately because you might not be paying attention to that. And we've got two, three vultures here on the ramp. That's way too much. Shine, you cannot break this, man. What are we doing right now? What are we doing? Oh my gosh. I think maybe he thought we might be going straight into um, Goliath or something like that. Maybe he could punish. But that's not the case at all. We're going directly into a starport and drop right now. So, you know, this might actually reveal the drop, but he's spent a lot of money on links, and it really hasn't done much. This looks like he's going to see the drop right here. Yeah, he sees the drop, I think. So he knows that there's going to be a vulture dropout. He's got five meters on the way already. So, you know, this is actually not too bad for Shine. Running up that ramp, it felt really bad. Um, fighting up a ramp versus three vultures uh, and SCV's body blocking. It's like, dude, how are you ever going to deal damage that way? But, you know, it does reveal the dropship. It slowed things down a little bit. Look at this. We're just going pure muta right now. And the drop's going to go all the way around the outside. So this is interesting. Not actually going to get spotted here, and we're going right into a Valkyrie and Goliath afterwards. So here comes Shine. Let's take a look at how many mutas he's got. Only five. No, can't be one-shotting. Oh, he does get the, the Valkyrie pick off there. That is very nice. And there's no turrets here to speak of. So two more Scourge to arrive. He could dive this. Guys. Guys. Shine is going to get this Valkyrie. Um, if this Scourge don't completely bug out, that is. He's going to try and target down the Scourge. He's going for it. Here, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it is. It pops out. Dropship coming into the main base right now. He's going to start to unload. He's going after that Valkyrie. The Valkyrie does manage to pull away. Sharp Shine noticing now that the uh, drones are being attacked here. Sock just trying to stabilize back at home. He's just going to let the Vultures run around. These vultures need to deal some damage and just slow down Shine just a little bit here uh, so that he can stabilize, get a turret up or something. He doesn't even have an eBay, I don't think. Oh, God, he's not paying attention. I think he's paying attention on the other side of the map there. Trying to get some more damage with these Valkyries. He loses his... Uh, or with these uh, vultures, he loses his Valkyrie. Mixing up my two units there. Mutas are getting very, very low here, but they are taking over this base. GG! Oh, man. What a finish there from Shine. Let's go back and just... Uh, let's watch that series of events there one more time. Because that was pretty wicked. The way that um, things just kind of spiraled out of control there. So we come in with the uh, Mutas here. And this is such a big pick right here. This is massive. If uh, Sock pulls this back... 
and doesn't go for the volley he got greedy right he got greedy you don't need to use the valkyrie here there's only four mutas look at that look at that. four mutas i think or was it five? Oh, oops five mutas so you can't even one shot scvs it's very hard to kill goliaths we've got the bunker we could just pull the scvs to the bunker keep the goliaths here and just run valkyrie around because we've got another valkyrie on the way as soon as we get like three valkyries these mutas are going to do nothing they're not going to do anything and we have this dropship coming in we have a backup plan but he tries to go for the attack with the valkyrie boom that goes down now things are spiraling things are starting to ooh, circle the drain here for sock the toilet bowl has been flushed and things are really starting to spiral out of control so he loses the valkyrie that means that we can just target down a goliath or two i'm gonna get some more mutas coming in here and man shine just knowing exactly what he needs and having it at the very perfect time he's got one more group of scourge on the way he's got a few mutas and he's just rallying everything straight across the map he is all in at this point pretty much all in we're, we're we're one drone here one so there's no real future here for shine he needs to get massive damage done right now or just straight up win i'm surprised he left the scourge here but he he, he thought that maybe it was going to pop out a little bit sooner and this is going to move from sock to try and pick off the scourge just going for the scourge here even pulled out the marine out of the bunker man that's how desperate we are right now all we've got is one factory and one starport. This is why I'm saying, like, it's so ridiculous from Sock that he allowed that Valkyrie to go down. That Valkyrie is everything. It is everything in this game. So he's going to lose the, the Goliath a little bit, sadly, here. Just running after the, the Scourge. And the Valkyrie does get one volley off it's not too too bad he kills one of the scourge so he's feeling a little bit better about fighting here but and this is the final straw this is the last moment of oversight here is when the uh vultures are being microed here in the main he sends the valkyrie in and ends up losing it and that's really the the final straw here we've got you know one more valkyrie coming out look at this he just lets the Valkyrie stand there and die. He also didn't send the Marines into the bunker. He could have potentially put Marines in this bunker and flown the Valkyrie around at least to, to gun down the Scourge or, you know, just to buy some time. Um, but instead, he's just going to lose this Valkyrie here to the two Scourge. Pretty unfortunate. That goes down. And that's the really the last hope there for Shine. Wow. Quite an intense you know minute and a half there pretty crazy i guess two minutes maybe minute and a half yeah that's that was a wild minute and a half guys but we've got another game here we're gonna jump into that next one hope you guys enjoyed the the little extra commentary there at the end but uh, we might start doing that a little bit more often because i do really want to uh to learn from these games as well as have have fun and cast them so i'm gonna try mixing that in ever so often now we're gonna jump into game number three Okay, game number three here. We've got Sock in the bottom left. Shine in the top left. Same map. We're here on Radeon once again. And I heard this was the greatest game. This is the best game in the series. That's what I heard. So I'm looking forward to it. One thing you can say about Shine, this guy right here. He really knows how to put the pedal to the metal when it comes to doing an all-in like this man he really does not hold back when he thinks he can go for the win and like a lot of zerg players would see the 1-1-1 one, one, one play out of their Terran opponent there hmm maybe I should you know transition maybe I should try to play a longer game get into lurker you know avoid the Valkyries shine no he just knows that build four scourge make a bunch of mutas one drone at the natural and just go and we should be able to pull this man apart he's not gonna have enough for turrets he can't have enough for valkyries goliaths 
uh, SUVs and turrets. It's just not going to be possible. So he sussed them out there. Put him, put the pedal to the metal, like I said, just all in. Pushed his chips to the middle of the table. And came out with the win. So, I mean, you got to respect it. Shine is an amazing player. And a lot of fun to watch. He's just... It, it's really cool to see very aggressive Zergs do well. I'm not this style. I don't I don't really play this very much, but... Hell, maybe it's about time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's... Maybe it's about time to start learning some of these really... Nasty... Uh, aggressive builds. And I don't know why Shine doesn't do this more often, man. Why does he not go super hyper aggressive more often? He's just so good at it. I feel like maybe he's fallen into the trap that I fall into as well. It's like, no, I, I just, I want to learn to be good. I want to learn to play better. I need to play longer games. I need to like learn how to play macro um, so that I can stand up against these really strong macro players. But hell, if it works, man, it works. Now we've got... SCVs coming across the map. A Marine here. Just typical stuff from Terran. Went for the double supply depot. CC here on location with the wall. Everything looking fine here for Sock with two SCVs coming up. He's going to throw down a bunker. And you know I hate to see it. I'm going to go ahead and harass this with the drone. But the drone's already taken some HP damage. So it will be sent to the main, I think, to... Or maybe build a sunken... Maybe build a sunk in here. I don't like keeping the drone here. Send this one to the main and bring out a fresh one. Oh boy, he's gonna get targeted. I just know it. I know it in my heart. That boy is gonna get targeted down. That poor, poor drone. Looks like he's gonna get some damage here with the marine. Oh, there's the target. There it goes. And that's unfortunate. Lings are gonna run by here with a single drone just to catch this coming up marine. Can he actually catch it? Oh, damn. Okay, he gets it. Oh, man, that was really close. If that Marine gets in, it does so much more DPS to your, your hatchery here. So, he should be able to pop out, you know, six, eight lings and just kill this. No big deal. Um, we're going to see that coming up here very, very soon. These two lings. Uh, he, he does need to pull it off. He does need to do it before more Marines come. Like, once there's four Marines here, he can just easily push through this. But here we go. He's going to pull the trigger now. Go after the SCV. Some of the some of them target the SCV, some of them target the bunker, and there you go, he gets it. Pretty well done here by Shine holding off this aggressive play. Not an eight racks though or anything. This is just a one barracks expansion with the two supply depots. It's it's like the sta most standard build that Terran players can do, but you can just see how dangerous it is. It is very dangerous to go up against that. You even kill the drone. He forced all of these lings. He's thrown the build off from Sock so much, or from from Shine so much. It's an incredibly powerful way to play, and I meet it all the time on ladder. Very tough, very very tough. I actually had a game like this today, um, where the the opponent actually went directly into mech after this, which uh, which didn't go well for me, unfortunately. Um, I hit him with the the mutas and. He actually hit a base down here and started building tanks and goliaths up there. Pretty annoying. Pretty annoying stuff. Even if you do damage, but they have a, a hidden base. Um, things can go pretty south. Get pretty sour. So, we'll see if anything like that happens in this game. I doubt it. Good players don't do stupid shit like that. It's just these ridiculous B and C rank players who think they can get away with that crap. And because I'm not... Uh, experienced enough maybe maybe i'm not uh shrewd enough i don't scout all the time here like look we don't have a ling down here waiting from shine he's not expecting oh that you sent out an scv uh with the marines and then sent one down to the bottom right hand corner you know like why would anyone ever do that that's stupid but uh yeah <laughs> players do do that they do do that on the ladder at these ranks now we've got one barracks second barracks right into factory here so i think we're gonna see another valkyrie play out of uh out of sock right now i think that might be likely i don't think we can hold on for against this two 
hatchery play, the two hat Hydra or two hat Muta, sorry. With just Marines right now off two barracks. There's definitely no way we're going to be able to put out any pressure onto the Zerg player for sure um, with this build. So he does need like some additional attack. We're going to go right into this starport. Will we see an armory here? He's getting plus one. He's getting range. He's getting all these things and preparing himself to move forward. But China's going to get in here with some mutas pretty darn soon. You can see it's seven minutes. Look at how two hat muta slowed down by a full minute here. It looks like he's getting the seven mutas out at past seven minutes just because of that aggressive play from uh, sock and what did he really sacrifice some mining time and a hundred minerals for a bunker that is crazy a couple of marines here and there it is so powerful what he did there in the early game and, and it's so difficult to deal with shine is just behind he's trying to get his third gas online he's going right into hydra den queen's nest we're gonna have the starport here with the armory we had a scan he saw the main but he didn't see the Queen's Nest Hydra Den. So this is uh, important scout, important information here that Sock is missing. Doesn't know that the transition is coming right away. So maybe he builds, you know, two, three Valkyries and gets ready to move out. And then, you know, there's already lurkers here and here, which could be really, really bad for Sock. But uh, with the placement of the, the third base here from Shine, I'm going to assume we are most likely just going to see a Hydra's Defiler game state out of uh, out of Shine here this game. Really nice. Bringing forward the Lings here. Soaking some of that damage. He's picking off a lot of these Marines. Wow. That went way better than expected, actually. I thought he was going to come in, you know, get a few kills, and the reinforcements are going to force him back. But that went really well. Holy... Sock getting his marine count completely reset here. And that reset on the marine count is huge right now. It is huge. Because look what Sock was planning to do. He was planning to tank push with two Valkyries. And now he can't really do any of that. Scanning here. He sees Hydra, Hydra's on the high ground. You can see he's scanning everywhere. He sees where the base is and Hydra's up here. I think that Sock is going to be like... A little bit worried right now, man. He's in a bad spot. We've already got the hive on the way. This tank push is going to do nothing. Very likely. We're not going to get any damage here, I think. these The marine number is way too low. This marine number is pitiful. Can't do anything with that. Even though we've got these two tanks. Just imagine if we had, you know, that the two full marine groups that we lost earlier. And... You know, some mutas were lost and stuff, but mutas don't matter anymore. We've got three Valkyries. Could absolutely wipe out those mutas. So, I think Shine really taking advantage of a situation that was set up by Sock. Sock set up that bad situation for himself here by moving out, standing out here in the front, being aggressive with the Marines. He ends up losing all of those Marines, and now he just doesn't have a follow-up push, man. He's going to have to go to, like, plan C at this point. Because we, we're we not going to be able to push this. Shine is going to be fine. Had us his Nidus Canal almost up. Defiler Mound is here. Lurkers are buying time. They're doing a great job. We can set up, like, Lurker uh, landmines here. Hold position Lurkers around the map if he wants to. Unlikely they will, though. We're just going to, you know, buy that time. Defilers will be popping out in just a few seconds. Two Defilers on the way here. He's going to come in from the back, try to get a kill on one of these Valkyries. That didn't work out too good, but oh my god. A lot of uh, Marines going down right there. That was rough. Valkyries can get some work done by picking off a few... Scourge, or a few... Muti a few overlords here and there. Of course, they're going to be fighting the Scourge and Mutas as well, but getting the overlords right now can be pretty troublesome for Shine, who's trying to drone up right now. Get a good saturation. You can see this is a pretty pathetic saturation. That's only because he's built had to build so many uh, buildings here 
The number of buildings you have to build at this point is pretty high. Oh, he gets the first. Oh man, that's so bad. Sokka's, Sokka's not dead, but he is losing right now, guys, pretty badly. Shine kind, kind of outplaying him right now. Um, oh, wait a second. Uh, Shine, hello? Shine? Oh my gosh. Well, this is embarrassing. This is this is embarrassing right now. I guess we're gonna clear this up. But that was that was scary right there. Things got really dirty for a second because he uh, <laughs> he didn't stay in his natural waiting you know by the Nidus Canal so he could hop through and save the space. He was trying to push out so aggressively he ends up almost losing his third base. Uh, he's probably gonna be able to kill these uh, Valkyries. Uh, take that back. Looks like the Marines are here to assist and. The uh, Scourge will go down. <laughs> a little bit of an error there by Shine for sure, man. I, I think that he was, you know, planning to just stay out here in the front with the Dark Swarm. Didn't realize that Sok was just going to move through this right-hand side uh, aggressively against the two Sunken Colonies. Nice. Do we have Plague yet? Oh, it's red. We changed the red color. Uh, we can't change it to a, a different color. Unfortunately, it's stuck on red. You'll just have to to bear it here, guys. Nice uh nice plague on these Valkyries. I think they'll have to be sent home for now to get repaired. Uh, everything normal going on here in the main base for Sock. Looks like he's not gonna go into battle cruisers or anything like that. It's not very good against Hydra Defiler anyway, so no real point. We do need to pop a defiler through here and just keep these uh, lurkers alive for now, but planning to move forward now. Dark Swarm here. Keeping these lurkers alive for now. Quick irradiate there on the Defiler though, and that's very annoying, but we've got the money right now at least for trying to try and you know, pick off the... Uh, oh gosh, he's gonna get this? Oh, just barely not. That was really, really close. Where's the Defiler? We need a Defiler here. Oh boy. Shine. Shine. Shine, 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 shine. What are we doing, man? How do we not have a Defiler at this base right now? You've got to be kidding me. Are we gonna, we almost lost this base already once and now we're about to lose it. We're, we're getting close to losing it again. Oh man. Oh, this is bad guys. This is, this is bad. How did this happen, Shine? We've had Defiler Tech for so long. We've had Lurkers for so long. It's so close right now. Is he gonna be able to save it? Just barely managing to save that. Are you kidding me right now? That is insanity. He's gonna run out with the Lurkers here. Burrowing underneath the Dark Swarm. I'm gonna push everything back, but I honestly, if, if I was Sock right now, I'd just hit the gas and run up this ramp with like, you know, a, a small group of Marines. There's only one Lurker right there. Is he gonna do it? Is he going to do it? Is he gonna pull the trigger here? Just a couple of uh, Dark, or uh, Radiates here. Dark Swarm coming up, Plagues going down. Pretty good pre-spread here by Sox. It didn't take too much damage. But we'll be pushed back for it now. He's just gonna hit the gas. He's going for the space again. Are you kidding me? He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Target, target the hatch. Oh, he's not targeting the hatch. He's going for the Nidus Canal instead. Wow, it goes down. Dude, what is Shine doing this game, man? How did we miss this? How did we mess this up right now? That is crazy to me. That we ended up losing this. And probably we're gonna lose the game now. Out of this position. This is so rough. I mean, we already saw this once, right? You lose your third base. Even if you're going Hydra Defiler, it's not a good situation. It's actually brutal. He's gonna come out here, try to fight these tanks. Maybe he can catch the tanks on the retreat. That would be big. One tank, he caught one tank on the retreat. Um, there should be more, yeah, Marines and Medics coming out here, Fire Bats as well. So he is gonna save this. We have a Defiler here. I don't see one. Base coming up over here. And, man, Shine, dude, 
Even on three bases, it's hard. It's hard on three three gases to play Hydra Defiler. You have to be so careful with your Hydras. And your Defilers are, are incredibly important. I'll throw a Dark Swarm here. Okay, one Dark Swarm. Not going to help you too much against this mass tank, but... I mean, I guess it's something. We have, we've only got one factory pumping out tanks right now. We are going to get plus one attack, which is always good. I really like it when Terran players do this. Um, Guardians. Wait, what? Guardians right now? Are we serious? Okay, he's going to get a couple of vessels here. Not bad. Right before the Guardians show up to play as well. I don't know about this, guys. Uh, is Guardians the play? Is this what we're actually doing right now? Okay, the Marines are going to run up on them. But it looks like you can push that back. Some vessels are going to... They... Their radiates here are so valuable. That is so much money. That's 200 gas and 150 minerals for a Guardian, man. Plus, you had to make the, the uh, Greater Spire. That's so much gas, and we're on two gas? Oh, the plague, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Lurker's gonna get right in front of these tanks here. He's gonna target down the tanks on the right-hand side. Those are all gonna go down. He's got the gas over here. Two dropships coming in. Where are they gonna go? For the main base, potentially. Um, He's gonna counterattack. But this is coming up right now. Oh, this is kind of bad. Are we going to be able to hold on to the main right now? Shine. Desperate situation. Bringing back the uh, Defiler right now. It's attacking up onto this high ground at the same time. Looks like all the SCVs are probably going to go down here. But things are not looking good. Oh, great plague there, actually. He can clear this now with all that plague. Oh, my God. Just attack with the Hydras, for God's sake. All right, finally, we're going to get the Hydras to attack. He kills the CC. This is getting really weird right now, guys. I'm not sure <laughs> where to look. There's everything got cleared out there. He's still got 32 drones and three gas. It's like this army is actually going to walk right into the... Did Shine pull this one back? Are we serious right now? I'm going to break up here in towards the natural, killing off the tank. Should be able to get that. Tank goes down. Oh, man. We're 2-1 right now to 2-1. 1-2 uh, to 2-1. So, I mean, matching the upgrades is pretty nice. Shine, I don't know how he managed to afford all that. This is crazy, guys. This is a really wild game, actually. Kind of loving it right now. I can't believe that Shine was able to bring this one back after losing his third. It, it felt like he wasn't even <laughs> caring about really defending that this entire game. He was really kind of lackadaisically defending that base, but he's managed to shut down the third. We're out of money at the main. Oh my god, where's the where's the base? Oh, it's floating out here. So he's going to float a base over to this position. Um, Defiler going to come in one, once again. Oh, great plague there. He should be able to maybe consume and throw down another spell. No, he's going to get forced back, so... Sok will hold this position, and he will get this base mining, but... <laughs> yeah, Guardian over here as well. well that's just going to get uh, irradiated, unfortunately. Still some some money coming in on both sides, but not a lot right now. We're at a very low econ game, and that's a lot of Defilers. Holy cow, that's a lot of Defilers. We just spent, like, all our gas into Defiler here. He is going to pick off some of these uh, vessels here. And he's definitely capable of getting a, a Dark Swarm down over on this side. Oh, going for the uh, Eraser Trick here. That's going to be super annoying, but army getting cleaned up. Where are the Hydras? We don't have the Hydras here. Defiler, going to get targeted. Okay, nicely done. Keeping that alive. Killing off a bunch of Marines there as well. Looks like not all the drones died, and Scourge are going to pop out, so these have to run. Dark Storm over here. This base is being attacked, but look at that. Sock going to lose all the Marines. Oh, man. Oh, man. Are we actually going to win this game? Shine, you beast. Oh, get him. Get him, Shine. Get him. He's almost there, man. This one 
This one guardian with eight kills. Holy crap, GG. No way. Get out of here, Shine. What? You really just took that game? You've got to be kidding me. Let's take a look at that one more time. This moment right here actually was so big. This was so big. You can just see how this took the wind out of the sails. Like, let's see how many Mutals we lost here. And just calculate the relative value. Um, <clears throat> not the uh, monetary value, not the minerals and gas that this cost, but the tactical value here. Because right now, the Mutas have a big tactical value. And of course, the Marines have a big tactical value as well, putting on pressure. But the real value for the Marines is when this push comes, when the tanks come out and the Valkyries are here and the Marines support them to go across the map. But Shine traded out his uh, highly, you know, valuable Mutas here and the very, like, cheap Lings that he had. He'd built uh, quite a long time ago, right? He's only got, like, eight Lings here, but... They really don't have any value when that push comes. And likewise, the Mutas don't have much value when the push comes either. But look, look this is not great for uh, Shine, the way he's trading right now. But the idea behind it is, is fantastic. Right? I think that Sock is looking at this like, hey, I'm trading well with the Mutas. But Sock is not thinking about the next stage of the game, right? He's thinking like, a uh, Terran player who maybe has, you know, four racks or five racks behind this. Someone who's like, okay, I just trade with the Mutas, get rid of them, push them back, and then my reinforcements are going to help me, right? But he's, he played this game way differently. He went two racks into factory with the third racks following up. So his Marine count is super low, and his plan is to go for a push here. So the idea behind this is way better for Shine. Shine picks off a ton of Marines here, and then he baits the Marines forward and runs straight in with the Lings right away here, jumping on top of this. And I think that Sock looked at this and he was like, okay, I've got Marines coming. This is a pretty good group of Marines. I can target down Mutas here and probably Shine will turn away. But Shine is, Shine is more than happy to take this trade right now. He's willing to lose all of these Mutas. Does not care, but he's not even going to lose them all. But he, he would be happy to trade all of these out right now. There's the Valkyrie coming out. This is such a good move from Shine, dude. He is in an amazing position right now. If he had lost all of these Mutas, I would still say he's in a pretty great position. Because there's really no way for, for Sock to push him now. And the follow-up switching into Lurker is going to be so strong. So... This is fantastic. The part that's not so good from Shine is obviously this part where he doesn't defend his uh, his third base here, which is really inexplicable uh, at this point. Really not not really not sure what to say about that. Like this is great. Stand out here. Slow down the push. Back up. Burrow. Back up again. Burrow again. Back up some more, Burrow. But once you're like right here, you've got the the uh, Defiler out. Now it's actually time to go back to the Natural. We pick up, go back to the Natural and have a Defiler ready to pop through and throw down Dark Storm on Lurker here. We need Lurker here. We've got the Nidus. What is the point of having the Nidus if we're not going to utilize it? He does get this amazing snipe on the vessel. But, like, there's an open lane here. We can't be allowing this to happen. It's so crazy to me that he <laughs> he's standing over here. Why is he standing over here, man? That's wild. He's going to have to flank this marine army with, uh, with Lurker now. He does eventually get it, but... It's, that's just crazy to me. And then he lets it happen again, by the way. Because we could push into the natural here right now. It would be pretty strong. Just Ling and one def one uh, Defiler there. But more Lurkers are going to pop out. And then he leaves the... Uh... 
He leaves the uh, this base with no de defiler again. Oh my gosh, where is the defiler coming out of? Oh, maybe it got killed right there. Dude, I think maybe the defiler got killed right there. Did it? I don't know, the defiler's gonna pop right here. I'm not sure what was in that egg. They freaking almost loses this base right here. It's crazy to me. It's crazy that he didn't have a defiler here. Every time you get ir irradiated, you need to just make another defiler or two. He did not do that. He ends up losing that base, and then this game got so crazy. So, so crazy. And I, I can't believe he managed to bring this one back, guys. It's wild to me. <laughs> With the Guardian play, no less. These Guardians really didn't do anything. Look at them. They just got irradiated. <laughs> that is it. And then this was the big moment. Getting the Plague plus the Dark Swarm. This is the power of getting the, the upgrade this early, right? He, he splurged an extra, what is it, 100-100 on getting the Defiler energy upgrade when he lost his third base. And yet, it ended up working out brilliantly because he plagues the whole army and drops the, drops the Dark Swarm on top of the Siege Tanks here. That is the, the, the big turnaround moment here, right? Because now... Sock, he has to run away with this army. All of it is plagued. He can't really do anything with it. If he'd been able to hold that position with the tanks, then Marines, I, I think that it would have been almost GG at that point. But now we've got the third base online. We've got some lurkers over here. They're going to deal with this uh, counter force. We've got some rallies coming out for Shine, and he's got those double upgrades rolling. And he just somehow managed to bring this one back. I still, I'm still a little bit in shock that he managed to do that, but that's inspiring, man. Sometimes you watch a a player playing your race, uh, bringing back a game that you you think would be absolutely undoable, impossible, and it's against an incredibly strong player as well, and it just makes you feel so inspired. It's um. It's really a beautiful thing. Now, does he actually get these? Oh, he gets both the drop ships as well. Oh, that's so sick. That is so sick. Wow, inspiring game there from Shine. We've got one more, guys. Let's jump into that. It's coming right up. All right, here we go. Shine here in the top left-hand corner. Sock in the bottom left. That was a ridiculous game, that last one, guys. I just defiler is so good. Insanely valuable style. Insanely cost efficient. Able to fight on two gas for quite some time. I understand now why he was trying to bring that one back on Dark Origin, even though it was so dire. I, I think that maybe he would have had a real chance, I guess, if he hadn't lost the gas over in the natural. You guys remember that there's a drop and then he fired over the wall and killed the gas. I think that that might have been really the final nail in the coffin because he just couldn't produce anything. You can see that Shine is pretty damn good. Even when it's such a bad spot. A nine pool going to come out. Shine. Oh, Shine. Oh, Shine. Oh, Shine. What are we doing? Nine pool gas. We're going to cancel. Yeah, okay. Not nine pool speed. Just nine pool. Gonna try and counter the aggression that's been thrown onto him every game so far uh, by Sock. Sock has always sent Marines across the map to pressure, to push him, to build bunkers, to be annoying. So I think that Shine would like to turn that around onto his opponent. Put him into a bad situation here where maybe he can take a big lead early on. Not the greatest wall here. This is a big gap on the left-hand side. It's not as big as over here, I think. Was it over here or was it this one? Up here. I can't remember. This one maybe. One of these gaps, I think it's this one actually. Yeah, this one right here is like two full hydralisks wide. 
when you place a building right there. You have to put two different units there. You cannot block it with one unit. Two drones, two hydras, two lings, whatever. So here, it's like you need two marine. Uh, this one, actually, maybe one marine you can block this. Now that I'm looking at this one. This one, I think you can block if you put the marine, like, right in the middle. Or an SCV right in the middle. Look at that. <laughs> marine being sent out. Shine just gonna laugh and send the lings in to kill. Maybe if you had a SCV at the wall and the Marines hiding behind, you might have had a chance here, uh, Sock, but... Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're gonna get so much damage here. Looks like the SCV got picked off as well. Maybe he right-clicked it on a, a drone, but Shine takes care of it. They're gonna try and fight here right as the Marine pops out. When is the Marine gonna pop out? It's coming, there it is. It pops out. I'm gonna try to keep it alive. Oh, it's so close. It saves, he saves it. Wow, look at you. Sock, keeping it alive there. Kinda crazy that he's actually gonna be able to survive for now. What are we gonna go into? Another barracks and an, an academy. The gas, so he's just gonna go all in. Interesting decision from your boy Sock does not want to play this out. He's decided, uh, that was a little bit too much damage. We're not going to build a CC here. He even checks over here. This is really smart, actually. Look at what he's doing. He sees with the SCV that, that we're going into, you know, drone production here from Shine. Maybe a few links are going to pop out, but he's not going to have much. And look at this. He's even taking a third. Realizing how far ahead he's gonna be But that's his biggest mistake Sock is checking down here for an overlord that might be coming in to spot that there's no uh, CC here He's gonna be sitting on top of this ramp with a few Marines. He's holding back some He's just gonna kill the lings as they come up here and shines like okay. I don't want to lose my lings I'm just gonna back off We're just gonna keep an eye on what's going on here Maybe we can sleep, slip around the side? No, he's not going to even try that. He's just going to keep the lings out here just to see, you know, when are the Marines going to move out. He thinks there's a CC here. He has no idea. He has no idea that there's two barracks right now. We've got two medics. They're building that energy. He's going to come out here. Oh, Shine, he didn't even have the lings in the front. Are you kidding me? Oh, Shine, 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 Shine. He's gonna come in now. He sees it now. Uh, he gets this marine kill for free at least, but the Sunkins are gonna be too late, man. They're too late. He's not gonna be able to do it. He's not gonna be able to hold this. This attack is gonna come in way too fast. There's the Lings coming up from the side, but we've got a Firebat here. Stim running in. Just gonna take a nice position here next to the, uh, the hatchery. A lot of lings coming out here. They're gonna try and get on top of the Marines the best that they can, but the Firebats just annihilate everything. GG is called. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sock cheese is the cheeser, man. Bit of that fromage here. This was such a smart move by Sock, honestly. Look, he, he did get a drone there, wow. It's funny that we uh, skipped right to that point. He got a drone during that attack. And I think that Shine did the smart thing here by not building, you know, infinite lings and just trying to win right now. He just takes the damage that he's done. He's like, okay, I'll just kill as many SCVs as I can. Maybe get this next Marine. Things will get really out of control here for Sock. See how many SCVs we can get. This is a lot of lost mining time. This is all good stuff. Target down an SCV here, for the love of God. There we go. He did get an SCV there. Um, try to run by into the main. It's not going to work. Can't kill the Marine either. Pretty good deal by Sock, but... Like, Shine is pretty well off here. Going to go ahead and grab the third base. I, this is very smart. This is very, very smart. He knows that if uh, Sock is going to try to recover... He's going to need to stay back. He can't really be pushing out on the map right now. But Sock sends the 
SCV out. This is dangerous right now what he's doing. Because just imagine if, say, during all of that wildness, Shine had built a bunch of lings and sent them out to the middle of the map. He could have gone around here and run right into the natural. So it's dangerous from Sock, but he's got to take some risks if he wants to get back into this game. So he decides right here, we're going all in. First thing he does... Send the Marines over here to the right-hand side to make sure that no Overlord is coming in this direction. It's way over here, but, you know, maybe Shine sent it over here, and then he sent it to here immediately after figuring out, you know, that uh, Sock is down here, and then he's sending it around, you know? So he's making sure that that's not the case. And he confirms that, and then he sits here on high ground with just three Marines. Just three Marines... Leave this Marine down here. Make sure that nothing's coming. Deny the information. So well done. So, so well done. Shine, if he had figured this out, if he had maybe, you know, had the the uh, Overlord move over here instead and, like, la you know, come over to this position, maybe he would have seen something fishy. Um, if he had taken the Lings around the side here, come in this way maybe he could have gotten over here and you know tried to do a run by and find out what's happening that would have been good he would have figured it out basically all he needs is two sunkins two sunkins here if he has two sunkins he wins this game but he just doesn't have it he doesn't have it because he didn't know because sunk is a god sometimes sometimes this man just knows exactly what to do and that's kind of the thing that I characterize Shine as being a lot of the time. That guy that whenever there's like an awkward situation, whenever there's like a weird game state, he's the guy who we say knows what to do the most. I would say he's very good at understanding what to do. But Sock here even showed a deeper understanding, man. And I'm really impressed by it. Guys, this was a very fun series. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been your daily dose of Brood War, and I'll see you tomorrow.